Good morning, this is Irina. Welcome to my studio and welcome to a little <laughs> um, antique haul. And so we are still on a no buy challenge, but I got an emergency authorization, you know, from um, my, it's an, it's an exception from my friend Nicole, because, you know, we needed to prevent a nervous breakdown and a divorce. And uh, technically I didn't buy it from my own money. So technically it was um, paid by my husband. So, <laughs> but I went to the antique store and let me, let me start out with the little things. I did get, and I'm not sure what it says right here. It says 18, you know, and I don't know what that means, but I did get a picture of this lady. I don't know what it was with this lady, but she kind of reminded me of my own family and it's very thick. And there's a lot of tape on it. I want to open it. I'm going to open everything. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, lady. Wait, I need to take this out. Otherwise, I know where it's going to end up in my finger. Let me see. I, I wonder why it was taped. <laughs> it doesn't look like it was ripped or anything, but it was taped. And it's on the back of... Oh, Deska Povodny. I think this is Polish. I think this is Polish. Who can read Polish? I don't know. But I think it is. So the thing was, the seller B. Oh, I hope I can take it. Oh, no. Seller B, don't do this anymore. Don't stick stuff onto the pictures because otherwise well now it's going to be more grungy but you know otherwise we are taking off stuff of the pictures seller b had a sale 50 percent off so you know look at this pretty lady i don't know she reminded me of my grandma for some reason i don't know don't ask me why and then i got this picture it's just like i have a picture where i stand next to a horse and you know it doesn't look like me at all, but, oh God, please get off here without ripping too much. Uh-oh. Yeah, they should put it on the baggies. Truly, I have to tell them next time. They have to put it on the baggies, otherwise it rips everything off, and we don't want that, right? It doesn't say anything, but it's a postcard. It's made into a postcard. So it doesn't say a year or anything, but I'm also not that much about the year. If it's, you know, it just has to somehow um, see somebody ripped something off here already. And this is Iowa. I can't see. It doesn't say anything. But look, there are the two men standing there. Aren't they cool? And then there was another one. Somebody got married. She doesn't look very happy. <laughs> she doesn't look very happy. But this is from Iowa, too. And I don't know what it says. 616? Something? I don't know what it means. However, got the pictures. There was an album from, I think, 1800 something. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't want to lie. I, I took a picture. But, oh my God, it was full of pictures. And it was, like, big. And, yeah, I think this wide and it was just so old it was not like your usual album it looked almost like a, a little trunk i don't know it, it was amazing but it was 150 dollars and it was not from seller b <laughs> you know if it was half off or something i would have maybe paid 100 but 150 was a lot and it was full of pictures like that and you know of little babies and the whole family and i loved it so much i, I I can't forget the album. I want to go back and buy it, but, you know, it's just a lot of money. However, okay, let's just move on. Seller B sold this for a dollar, so I got it for 50 cents. I don't know if they are still stamping or not. I wanted the two with with the numbers. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if they are still stamping, but I, I thought they were super cool. You know, this says 90 on it, and this says 4 by 5 So... I don't know, let's just, you know what, why not take this, oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these cards, I'm gonna distress them and everything, and use them for something, because they are cool already, okay, so what we are gonna do is try to stamp this out on something else, 
just a normal piece of paper. I don't like this. I have this paper that will be pretty one day, you know, so let's just try and stamp it out on here. I don't know if it will stamp. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, and this should stamp a 90. Let's stamp it in this upper corner. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Why is it so cool to just have two number stamps? I absolutely love them, and they were 50 cents. There were a lot of them, but only two numbers. They said like weird names of something, I don't know. But um, I think company names or something, I don't know. So I didn't want to buy anything that I don't know anything about, so I just took those two. Okay, the rest of it, well, not all of it is books, but a lot of it is books. These came two in a pack, and then they were wrapped with this which is cool i love it it's leather <laughs> okay i'm gonna use it to you know wrap around the journal of course and this is italian so this one is like falling apart it's i don't know if it was like in a fire or something you know but some pages are stuck on top and then they are breaking i don't mind at all i'm gonna glue them on something i'm determined to use the pages so this is italian you know and there was two in a pack and i don't remember the prices but all in all i spent 95 or 96 dollars and this is italian as well so they came two in a pack and i love them i've been touching them all day i bought this yesterday and since yesterday i'm like in love here i want to find a spot where i want to put them okay oh you know what let's go with this one first because this is a big one <laughs> It's a big baby and I don't know what it is about dictionaries <laughs> I collect dictionaries apparently <laughs> because I love them and this one is like what nine nine and a half by more than 12 inches <laughs> okay and I love it it's so big the spine is where is the spine oh, I need another ruler <laughs> for the spine the spine is three and a half inches almost wait how much would two be i don't know i need so they also you know there was a lady it was not there but she had a ledger and it was like 40 dollars and kind of sounded a lot but i think i'm gonna go back and ask her to sell it to me i don't know <laughs> we will see the ledger wasn't there she just sent the picture okay i don't know what that says i don't know what year it is i don't know anything you know but um i just saw this and it was huge and it was seller b so it was half off does it say here anywhere let's say i don't know copyright there are a lot of copyrights so how do you know how do you know which one it is maybe 66 it's not super old yeah, 66 is the latest one that it says here, I think. No, 73 would be the latest one. So I don't know which one it is. It doesn't even matter because I didn't buy it for that reason. What I bought it for is this. I just I just love all of the writing and pictures and how big it is. And then these here. and uh, It's a dictionary. It's a normal dictionary. <laughs> but the pages are huge, so I could fold them like this. You know, and there are so many. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use it. I'm, I'm very, very, very sure. Ooh, it's super heavy, <laughs> guys. It's super heavy, super heavy. So, this aside. Okay, let's move on. I got two French books, and they are the same. They were wrapped into this as well. I think it came out to be $6 for two. Yeah, $6 for two. And um, they're super old too, and they are falling apart, but they are in French, you know. I think I only have one French book, small one. And the funny thing is, this is Tavarish, which is um, Russian. <laughs> but it, it, this is not written in Russian, you know. We're Russians, we write in a different language. Ah, uh, not language. We write Cyrillic. But I think you know that. And you know, the names are Russian, but it's written in... Um, Italian so it's like 
wait, no, this written in French, the other one was Italian, but it's written in French, and it's, it's so cool. So I have an, two Italian books, two French books, and then I got this one, and this is Goethe. Goethe is German, and this book is in German as well. So the thing is, in this store, every book has like a little tag here that has a price for the book, and a little, like, um, they say something about the book, you know, what it is or whatever. And this one has a little, had a little tag and the price and it said, a nice book. <laughs> I think because nobody knew what it is. And it's written in the old German, which I love. You know, look at that. I love it. And weirdly enough, okay, you tell me in the description if you know who Goethe is. Okay, please because they didn't know. I was like, it's Goethe. And they were like, who's Goethe? And um, the lady was a science teacher <laughs> that I spoke to, the, the one that was selling me this. And she didn't know Goethe. Like, really? Um, do American people not know Goethe? Um, what's going on? You know, because uh, I thought everybody does know. But no, apparently not. So we got Italian, French, German, and then I had to Google the language of this book. And this one, you know, there was a lot of, of sellers. So this lady came to me and she was like, I got this one book, I'll give it to you for two bucks. You know, you wanna look through it? And I'm like, nope, <laughs> I don't need to look through it for two bucks <laughs> because I love the outside already, you know? And I'm like, two dollars? I'm not looking through anything. But then I came home and I opened it and I didn't know what language this is. I, I had no idea. I had to Google it, and it's the old font as well. So I had to Google it, and this is from Denmark, you know. So I uh, never had any. I've never seen um, any writing in what would you call it? Danish? <laughs> Danish? Dan? How, how do you call the the Denmark language in, in English? I do not know. But it has illustrations, and look at the. Look at the pages. They are so cool, actually. But I'm thinking this, this I'm, I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to use this cover for something. I will make a journal and I will use this cover. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. <laughs> My friend Nicole is laughing at me because she didn't believe me that I'm going to use this stuff. I will. Okay, then I did get another book, and this is Spanish. I got so many languages. <laughs> this is Spanish, you know. It's just a small one, but it doesn't matter. It's it's a different language, and I love it. And I'm learning Spanish right now. I've been learning Spanish for a while, but I don't know much <laughs> because I, I don't talk to anybody, right? This is 1929, which, like I said, it doesn't really matter to me. You know, it has at least one picture. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it has translations. It has translation in the back too. Oh, what? <laughs> I love it. Oh, it has a little, oh, I love this. My great grandmother would have things like that in her Bible. You know, something with, with I don't know, worshiping or prayer or something. She would just randomly have it in her Bible and I love that. So yeah, there it is, a Spanish one. And my last book that I got was, oh, let's, let's look through this. This was randomly in a set of typing stuff, you know? So the whole set was like a hundred dollars. They were, I don't understand that. They were like things to put somewhere and I don't know, some machine. So I, I understand nothing about it, you know? But this was right there inside. And this is a stack of papers. You see, even this paper is falling apart already. It's a stack of papers. And there was like a little paper inside of this too. I don't know if I took it out or where did it go? I do not know. It must be somewhere. It's probably somewhere in the book or somewhere. Just a random old stack of papers. Look at this. Oh, there it is. I was looking for this one. And this says 52 cents. <laughs> Well, back then, right? Does it say like anything else? I don't know. 79 is 79 the year. So, uh, oh no. February 20, 43. 
it says okay and this they used to, uh, to stamp on it but it feels like so good and it's aged and it's like you know this coffee dyed color i'm like i want this can you figure out how much this is because this was from seller b2 and it was 12 dollars and then it was half off so for six dollars i got this and it it was 50 cents back then it says right here but for six dollars i got i don't even know how many pages there are but there are a lot so i am definitely using it and i'm not tossing this paper for sure this feels so good and then the last book i got will be this one so let me put this away okay give me a second here because i need to do something okay so this is from 1917 and this is a credit rating guide but it looks so cool it reminds me of a ledger oh there was another one the good thing about this let me see it was full of dried flowers i need to put it i thought i got them all out but apparently they are still hiding in there they are oh my god there is still a whole bunch hiding in here look at that i'm totally putting them aside here <laughs> wait maybe i can find more i'm going by you know i think there are something in here no it just looked like it was you know when i when i put the book up like this well i don't know i don't see anymore <laughs> I will probably find more and oh there look at that i have to be so careful <laughs> it is full of dried flowers oh my good lord and i went through it before i started the video because i just wanted to know to show you that it had dry flowers in there and apparently i still missed so many and now I'm like, uh, is there more? I will probably find more in time. <laughs> and I do the same thing. I dry my flowers in in a big book like this. See, there was a dried flower. It has this impression of a flower. It's, it's so cool. But look how cool the font is. I love it. You know, it was not Cellar B, but it, oh, look. Oh no, it's falling apart. Oh, <laughs> it's falling apart. I have to be very careful. Oh my God. I will show you how many I found already in just a second. I think there's another one somewhere here. Because there's like a hole. Maybe not. Okay, I guess I will find them <laughs> in time. But isn't it cool? It has a ton of pages. Does it say? Oh yeah, I think this is the page numbers. So over 700 pages. I think I will be good if I use like five. <laughs> if I use five, I will be all right. There is leftovers that didn't come out, you know. I tried to get the flower out, but then there were some leftovers that got stuck and would not come out. But I want them all, so I'm going to put them aside. I will show you. I took them all and I laminated them, and I'm going to um put them through my laminator one more time but this is the book very thick very big so love it um let me show you the laminated ones there was a whole bunch i'll just cut it and you know it doesn't matter i need to preserve them somehow so do i have oh almost took this look here how amazing and wait let me put it aside because there was more look here i don't know how old the flowers are this when i started laminating this moved <laughs> so i will have just the skinny tag of this one but that's fine i think i will be just fine i will cut in between and then you know the little pieces that i just put aside i put just next to it because this was just one very skinny flower but it preserved everything so good i don't know and then there was more same book <laughs> more flowers look at this <laughs> there's more see some of them are skinny and have almost nothing and then there was more and this one is turned around 
I love this one. How amazing is this? And then there was more. These were very long. I had to put them this way, but I did not want to break off a piece because I just love it. And another one, the last one that I found was this. And you see, I just put a couple of them together and I thought I could cut here, but I think that moved too. And then, you know, two of those and then one of this. How amazing. And then the ones that I just found that I have to put into a laminating sheet as well. So that was my haul. That was my haul. <laughs> I spent $95 and I got all oh, of this goodness. And I'm like, oof. <laughs> well, it was not my money. And thank you, Nicole, for allowing me to do that because, you know, you prevented big stuff <laughs> here. <laughs> big stuff. But yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it, you know, let me know what you love most. I think I love the finding of the flowers because that was so unexpected, you know, and of course my dictionary, <laughs> but to find the flowers was like a big cherry on the top, right? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and um, I hope you are all healthy and happy and, you know, just enjoying your day, having a good life and I see you soon. Bye-bye.